Suno is either the future of music or the end of originality. And if you're a songwriter, this tool could either supercharge your process or just make you completely irrelevant. In this video, you'll learn what Suno does that no other songwriting tool can, the one area that it still really fails hard at, and how to use Suno without losing your creative voice. So first up, what makes Suno actually amazing? So last week, someone emailed me their song to get feedback and they kind of prefaced it with something truly amazing that they were proud of. They're like, listen to my song. It's amazing. And it turns out I was listening to it and I was like, this is totally a Suno song. But that didn't matter to them at all. They actually knew that and they knew they sent me a Suno song. And it didn't matter to them because they wrote the lyrics. And this was the first time that they actually heard their songs produced and it sounded really good. I think Suno is a great tool for lyrical writers who've just never had the chance to actually hear what their music sounds like outside of their notebooks. So if you have a book of poems or you've been writing lyrics for such a long time, try adding them to Suno like this and just see your song come totally to life. It just actually might shed a tear if you've never heard the lyrics that you've written in your notebook come to life as music. So is there anything potentially bad about Suno? Well, I think any song that you put out in the world is a good thing, but only if there's actually some artistic value to the song. It's a bit soul crushing to see the amount of music that is just being created today with no artistic value behind it. Simply just like prompting and publishing more noise. There's no spirit or artistic value behind the music. And besides just adding your own lyrics to see your song come to life, I've been using it in what I think to be three more productive ways. Okay, so number one is try using Suno to actually realize how your song demo can come to life with a produced version. Take an example of a song I co-wrote last week. In the session, we had an acoustic guitar and just lyrics. At the end of the session, we had a voice memo of our song. So we uploaded the voice memo of the song, which sounded like this. Where everybody knows me by my name And the pictures on the wall don't ever change And it just created a produced version like this. Where everybody knows me by my name and the pictures on the wall don't ever change. And I think it's interesting to hear the song like this with a full sound so quickly, like in seconds, that we could actually get an idea of this is a, an option of what the produced version might sound like. Just to give us that idea before we actually get into the weeds of the production ourselves to see, oh, this is a direction we could take and it could maybe sound like this. So number two, if you've released some songs before, you can see how Suno might create them in a different genre. So I actually did this with one of my songs called There Goes Life, which like, I'll give you an idea of what it sounds like in it. It's an original form here. I seen black and white in the mirror. I don't wanna face what's going on. And then I asked Suno, hey, can you make this like a country song instead? And so it gave me this. I see black and white in the mirror. I don't want to face what's going on. And I just found this to be very insightful to see the shape of melodies that Suno chose in this genre because I have a tendency to work within my own comfort zone and melody framework that I'm used to because I've just written so many songs in that world. But seeing how the song can take a form in a new way just gets me thinking outside my box. Okay, number three, this probably will change everything. From the smallest home studio musicians to the world's biggest producers, we're all going to be using this new thing inside our DAW, and we'll, it will likely start with Suno stems. So recently, Suno has made it abundantly clear that they are moving in the direction and building Suno stems, which sounds like to me that they're trying to start to build their own DAW. So you can ruthlessly prompt or generate a song from a voice memo or with your lyrics and not only get that file, but you can actually get all the stems of the song, including like the vocals and the bass and the drums and the guitars. And it can end up being so detailed that you could split it in multiple tracks. So you can prompt a song, you can upload your voice memo, add your lyrics, whatever. When you have that WAV file, you don't actually just get the MP3 or WAV, you can actually get the stems and break those stems down to use them in Logic or in the Suno DAW if they do that and actually edit them and, and change them up. So let's say I really like the version of the song that I, I co-wrote 
and we wanted to start the production, but we just didn't like the vocal, we didn't like the bass, and we didn't like the keys. Well, we can get the stems and like just take all those out, rip those out, and record in our new ones, and song done. That's actually pretty insane. And with Suno Studio, you'll even be able to create stem by stem and then also export that to MIDI, which I assume means that you could take that MIDI and then just add your own VST or other sound to it while using the MIDI that you've just created from Suno. It is just going to change everything about music. I think it's going to get like so crazy where we'll just be sitting at our DAW and I just need to say like, hey, I need a drum beat and a guitar solo that sounds like the recent Black Keys album made to fit 16 bars at 109 BPM in the key of G minor. And then it's like, boom, done. So why does that feel like cheating? to me or kind of gross when I talk about how automated you can get with a process? Or is it just productive? I'm, I'm curious to know what camp you're in. For me, it's hard to say because I have a tendency to think like, wow, this is going to make music and music creation so productive and I'll be able to make so much more. But then it's taking the life out of like, well, why don't I just grab my guitar and do this solo instead of prompting it? Like, where's the line of creativity and artistry? I definitely see a negative slope that can be that you can go down by ruthlessly prompting and creating a lot of music to make money. That's a dangerous slope that I think will happen and it's already happening. So no matter what style of music you're creating, even if you're not using tools like AI yet, I think that your song needs to have some type of artistic merit behind it, no matter what that is. So if you want to do it yourself, watch this video here and I'll teach you how to produce a song from scratch or check out the link in the description and join a community of like-minded music makers. I'll see you there.